Da Vinci said that art lives in constraint and dies in freedom. And we have nothing but constraint right now. Our challenge was to not view that as a way to uh, stop our creativity, but a key to unlocking a new kind of creativity. And that's what our car safari was really about. How do we continue to go forward? How do we make it awesome that you're in your car with FM transmitters and people shutting their doors instead of clapping? The goal of the project was to give our artists and our community an experience that would kind of allow us to gather in these weird, difficult times and still experience live art, which was something that everyone was starving for. The biggest goal this summer was for us to bring people together so that they can imagine a world that didn't exist yet. To dream, to be able to envision something that you don't see yet. That's what change comes from. And this world needs a bit of change right now. The Cultural Alliance has been great and we have really connected over some issues about diversity and equity and inclusion. And just to have a group of, of artists and art supporters who were able to kind of come together in a safe space with a guide and a moderator to kind of facilitate these very important discussions that are going on right now. When it comes to working with Lisa and the Cultural Alliance of Western Connecticut, it's so important to have leaders like her to bring other leaders together in order to envision something that doesn't exist yet. And when we're talking about social change and when we're talking about injustice, we as arts leaders need to lead that charge. I think it's super important that locally we're able to come together and have a group of folks that you can come and actually talk about actions in your local community is invaluable and it's been absolutely fabulous.